so I hope you guys have been okay. As you can see, I'm in a new setting. I'm out here in Birmingham. Don't know what accent that is, but Birmingham. Yes, I'm out. And yeah, it's been okay so far. I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing. I'm just down here for my friend's birthday, having a good old time. And yeah, just thought I'd catch up with you guys like super briefly. So as you can see, my skin is breaking the hell out. I've been getting these random like cystic spots on my face. Um, also some little breakouts here as well and here and they're quite like sore and uncomfortable um the only thing i can really put it down to is that i've been wearing a lot of like wigs lately so like frontal wigs and stuff that obviously needs a lot of gluing down and spray so that's kind of the only thing i can put it down to right now maybe you know using such harsh harsh chemicals spreading obviously within my skin and stuff like that has been causing these random breakouts um i've stopped using retinols at the moment because i am preparing for a procedure and obviously using retinols isn't the best thing because that can cause more hyperpigmentation and more scarring so that's a little bit of a random update how have you guys been? Like, it's been ages. Um, I've washed my skin, I've put my serums on, and I'm just gonna use my La Roche Posay SPF um, just to protect my skin at the moment. Of course, if you're new here, subscribe, support me. If you're returning, hello to you too. Just gonna slather that on from the neck upwards but yeah so Birmingham's been okay so far it's, it's only been one night I've actually decided to extend my stay I'm gonna catch up with my friend again today and her friends hopefully we should be going out to like eat and drink and then maybe go to like a party or something in the evening. We'll just see how it goes. But yeah, so that's that. Um, since I've been here as well, I have run out of my Serif B um, foaming cleanser. So luckily where I'm staying, it's like, okay, I forgot what I was talking about. What I will go off of is that I was using my La Roche Posay. Oh, sorry, I am using my La Roche Posay SPF at the moment. Um, so I've gone back to this because my Skin Ceuticals one that I was using, basically, the Skin Ceuticals one that I was using finished. Um, although it was leaving a, a slight blue tint on my face, I realised that. That would happen if I often applied way too much product than needed, I guess. So when using it, I found a technique to basically give me enough sun protection without giving me too much of a blue tint on my face, which I'll do another video about soon. So that's like a, a, a mini update on that. Um, yeah, so I've gone back to this for now. What I do want to say about this is, although it's good and it has a lot of hype and stuff at the moment, I feel like when I use this, my skin becomes a lot more oilier and I tend to break out. That could explain my recent breakouts, but of course, I have also been using chemicals um, on my, my hair and my face, which I shouldn't really be using. So... I'm gonna finish this bottle and see how I get on. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. I've like rambled on a bit, but I'm sure you guys are like used to my delivery now. Um, yeah, so in the shower as well, I've recently started using the Nala's Baby. So I have two items from there that I'm like, 
quite excited about because obviously I've heard a lot about it. I'm sure all of you have. Um, I just wanted to see how I would get on, in particularly because of my contact dermatitis that I've been suffering with that I've mentioned. So it was like on my lower arms and my chest area. Um, I did go to my GP, they gave me a steroid cream and a more water holding sort of cream, basically that provides your skin with extra moisture that regular creams don't. And I, I've had some luck, but I'm still suffering with the problem. So I wanna see how I get on with these products. Um, the wash I only started using yesterday because the bottle is quite small and convenient compared to my usual wash, which is a, a simple shower gel, literally the brand simple and the bottle's like that. Didn't wanna carry that. So I thought I'd bring this, try it out and see how I get on. The body lotion I've been using for like three or four days. Haven't had a problem with it so far. I will do a more detailed video soon, so stay tuned for that. So my skin routine is more or less done. Um, what I have been using literally is just this. So I've been using my ordinary products. So I've got my niacinamide, my hyaluronic acid, and a moisturizer. I don't use the moisturizer all the time as well. So that's literally what I've been using since I've been away because those products are sufficient enough for a good skin routine, plus your SPF. So that will basically see me through. And yeah, I believe that's it for now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go down to Boots and Superdrug. I'm also gonna have a quick look in Primark as well. And I hope to take you guys with me. And yeah, see you guys in like half an hour. Okay, so I'm back. I've made it back to my hotel room. I actually ended up doing a pretty big shop, surprisingly. Um, so I went to, first place I went was Superdrug. So I got some bits in there that I'll show you guys. Cause like I was saying, I didn't have enough stuff for like my skin routine. I don't know why the corner of my mouth looks so dry. Like it's honestly not um and yeah so i went to for drug and then afterwards i went to primark because i needed to get like a cardigan because the jacket that i'm wearing has got like a stain on it like it's dirty and i don't want to wear that back to london yeah and i don't want to wear that back to london like that so i went to primark i got a cardigan um i got leggings as well because i'm wearing this dress and because i've extended my stay for Because I've extended my stay for another night, it's actually going to rain tomorrow. So I don't have any tracksuit bottoms, any leggings. I don't have anything like that. So when I went to Primark, I basically got a cardigan, got some leggings. Um, I was going to get some shoes as well, but then I thought I'm doing too much. <laughs> After that, I um, went to m &S. Um Actually, no, sorry, I got my cardigan from m and and I got some food in there to cook because I'm staying in a really nice apartment, which I should show you guys. And luckily there's facilities for me to cook and I'm trying to calorie count and be more careful with what I'm eating because within the past like two years, I've been eating every single thing that I've wanted. 
and I basically put on like 10 to 11 kg so I'm ready to go back down now so I'm trying to be much more mindful of what I'm eating and yeah so I will show you guys what I'm gonna cook okay so these are my cute little slippers and this is my bag of everything that I've bought because clearly they don't have Primark in London and they don't have H&M in London so that's that so I'll start going through them one by one okay so starting with my super drug purchases I got these which are some like handy soft tissues which I can use like when I'm on the train and when I get back in general um those are on offer they were like 99p for a pack of six so I just picked them up of course we have the CeraVe foaming cleanser which I've been speaking with you guys a lot about um I like this um it's cheap it does the job um and I find that it does um help my skin I do honestly honestly prefer my skin SkinCeuticals gel um cleanser but obviously that's not available where I am and I've completely run out of um, face wash. So this is really um, handy. This is the big bottle for um, 473 millilitres. So they had this in there and I believe it was... Just got the receipt. It was 14.99 so that's not too bad because the one that's slightly smaller than this was going for like 10 or 11 pounds so i just thought you know what it makes sense just to pay the extra like what three pounds and get a bigger size bottle that i can use if i start traveling again or just to have at home and stuff like that so i got those I also got a hand cream, this was on offer, um, so originally this was 2 99 and I got it for £2, it's 100 millilitres, um, constantly washing my hands on placement and at work, so that's definitely needed. And finally, I got this CeraVe eye cream. Um, I was actually going to pick up the Garnier one, which I've seen come up on my Instagram quite a lot. Um, it's like a, a sort of stick um, applicator with three balls on it that massages around the eyes. But that was like £20 or £24. And to be honest, I've spent quite a lot since I've been here. And I didn't want to spend that much just for an eye cream. I'm not entirely big on eye creams, but I thought I would give this one a try because it's a bit cheaper, it's reasonable price, reasonably reasonably priced, sorry. And um yeah, it's part of the CeraVe brand. I want to try some more of their products, see what they're about. It claims to basically get rid of dark circles if you use it for a prolonged period of time. Um, it's got ceramides as well it claims and also our favorite hyaluronic acid so yeah i'm gonna start using this from today and basically see what it's about so that's what i got from superdrug okay so the next shop i went to was our fave h&m i love h&m for the quality of their products um so i just went in there and i saw this top so this is a two pack tube top and I've been wanting a tube top for quite a while. So when I saw it, I honestly, I wasn't really thinking about cost or anything. I kind of just picked it up. So it's a two pack, we've got a black one and then we've got another black one with like a white cute banding going across. And I just thought this would be nice to wear like when going out casually and stuff with my friends. So I, yeah, I picked this up. Um, I was actually looking for leggings in h&m initially but they basically didn't have it in my size so i just kind of got this so yeah oh that's better um yeah this was 6.99 which isn't too bad for two tops considering the cost of living and all that stuff so yeah that was that and then i saw this really really pretty necklace it looks very similar to a necklace I have already that I got from ASOS. 
um, but that's literally like completely tangled up and it's starting to change colour. So when I saw this, I just picked it up. Um, I did mention that I'm here for my friend's birthday. So she's planning to do something later. So I actually might wear this. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's what I got from H&M. We have the girlies favourite. We have Primark. Um, and this is everything that I've got. I'm just going to do it on the bed because I've got quite a few stuff. So, starting with the first thing in front of me, I got um, this pack of three, these wireless bras. I love these. Like, I have a white, black and grey one and they're just so, so, so comfortable. I love wearing them around the house and stuff like that. So... When I saw this, I literally just picked it up, like had to have it. And I love these nude colours as well. I got these shower caps for a pound. Always need shower caps and stuff. Some underwear just whilst I'm here and stuff like that. Um, particularly as well, because these these are bikini under um, knickers, but they're quite seamless. So I really do like these. So extra underwear, you can never have too many. Um, I got some socks. I'm currently wearing my Yeezys, my Yeezy phones. Um, this is my first time wearing them, but it's it's been a little bit uncomfortable. I think I really should have sized up a little bit, even by half a size. But I'm hoping that these socks will just provide a little bit more cushion and comfort, particularly around the back of my foot. Um, I got this cute little hair grip, so I can just tie my hair up um leggings that i was telling you guys about because it's gonna rain when i'm going home tomorrow so i just got those leggings and some cycling shorts i've got two pairs of these already and they've started to fade because i wear them so much so i just got one more could even wear that later to be honest with one of the tube tops and then finally my cardigan which i'll lay out properly okay it's a little bit mangled up but this is the cardigan that i got from mns and it's so so soft like it's so soft this is like a really nice quality material it's so smooth um i got it in a size small and yeah it's a bit pricey 22.50 um i mean what i'm happy about mainly with mns is that i know that this will last me quite a while i've had some cheaper cardigans from primark and what will often happen is the armpit will like tear don't know why it's the armpit <laughs> don't ask me either but like i'll get like a random hole somewhere like the armpit and then the hole just get bigger and bigger and then it will stretch but this is really really soft it's quite thick but not too thick they had a thicker one for like 30 pounds but it's not really that kind of weather yet so i didn't opt for that one but yep yeah, this is everything that i've got like clothes wise okay so this is everything that i've got um from m s my favorite shop if you know me you know that i love 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 m s food so today i basically bought this so this came together as like a, a meal deal the light is a little bit better here but yeah so this is what i bought today so these came as a meal deal so you get one of each and all together it comes up to seven pounds which is really really good if you're trying like watch what you're eating and stuff and you don't really want to get a takeaway because the thing with this as you can see this is all green okay can't find a nutritional info on this but of course this is veg so that's um practically healthy and this is chicken breast as well so that's practically healthy high amounts of protein um limited fat and this is more or less green as well um it's got some oranges but compared to the whole meal you can see that it's balanced out really really well so yeah this is this all came up to seven pounds so i'm basically gonna make a stir fry a chicken stir fry with um, this sweet chili sauce and that's what i'm gonna have for my dinner today so that's what i got from m &S. um i also got this which i really like um this is one of my favorite um like ready-made things to buy 
from m &S. so this is just a hot smoked salmon and new potato salad when i first bought it i thought it was going to be bland and i was kind of like scared to eat it but this is banging like this is proper like if you're into salmon you like potatoes you should definitely try this um of course got some fruits as well mango and berries i might save this for tomorrow for when i'm going back and then i also picked up um these which are chocolate tiffins um come on balanced diet you have to balance it out a little bit so i'm gonna have this with a cup of tea <laughs> later most probably um yeah i love chocolate tiffins as well so this is everything that i've bought and yeah i'll probably show myself cooking it but i haven't even got no seasoning so i'm hoping it comes out well right, let me show you guys around so i have my wine rack right here with no wine sadly um i got my kettle my knife area toaster microwave um i've got a cupboard which they've like nicely stocked up for me with like glasses and plates and all that good stuff we've got kitchen napkins this is the fridge and that little compartment there is a freezer i've got my little ghetto party meal <laughs> there well, i'm not going to show you guys uh dishwasher drawers and stuff um which are nicely stocked up and polished as well so this has like all your appliances um here that like all your cooking equipment everything that you need um this is the induction hob you've got two hobs here which is fair because you're not gonna, really going to be doing a massive cook up so you've got two hobs there um, this is the sink. I've left it a little bit messy. I just got a teacup in there and the sponge that I've been using to wash up. Um, you've got more kitchen equipment, tea towel. Those are dishwasher tabs and washing liquid. And yeah, excuse any mess. Um, this is it. I've got a massive, huge wardrobe and a safe. I unpacked my stuff because I thought I was going to leave today. So that's why that is empty. And of course, we have the bathroom. Lovely, lovely bathroom. So those are my skincare products right there. Here's me um what else the shower the shower is like a one like once i come in here i feel like i don't want to come out like i have to literally like regulate myself like if you don't come out and you stay in here for too long your skin's gonna shrivel and it's gonna start itching um those are my used towels excuse that like i said i thought i was leaving today and obviously when you're done with your towels you're supposed to just pop them here so i'm gonna move those of course the toilet picture and yeah it's a really really nice apartment two windows here this is one of them that bit's a bit derelict but down here i have four views of like the city center and the tram line and stuff so it's nice it's a 12th floor apartment and i'm on floor 11 so it's really really nice okay i have to apologize because this ring light i'm using is like really crap so i look quite blurry i look kind of orange but i'm basically just going to show you guys me like packing my stuff away and cooking etc so Thank you. 